Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? This is Felix from NY1News.com. Right to it. J.D. Martinez has just snubbed the Red Sox publicly. The Red Sox were favorites in obtaining and signing J.D. Martinez. So, what does this mean? This means that the Red Sox are now favorites in obtaining and signing you Darvish. It was said, J.D. Martinez... The Red Sox offer to him was about five years and $125 million. So let's say that the Red Sox are now out of obtaining J.D. Martinez. That means that they have the money now to drop on you Darvish's head. And I mean that in a way where the Red Sox are just going to come out of nowhere and say, hey, listen, we're going to build... You thought our starting rotation was going to be called the Golden State Warriors of Major League Baseball? What about now? We're going to add you Darvish on our rotation to compete with the Houston Astros. And it's highly possible at this point. The Red Sox are said that they are down to exceed the luxury tax by millions of dollars. No, not by five, not by ten. I'm talking about over $20 million, okay? I'm talking about the Red Sox exceeding that luxury tax for maybe a good five years, but who knows? So, like I said, the Red Sox now have the money. No, that's not a publicity stunt by J.D. Martinez and his camp. No Major League Baseball team is going to accept a player snubbing them in this fashion. He has said... And I quote, or they're quoting somebody from his camp. They said, The outfielder is reportedly fed up with the team's inflexibility regarding its offer and would prefer signing with a different team, sources told Ken Rosenthal. Martinez is also willing to hold out until he gets the deal he wants. And yes, I know you, Darvish, rejected the Red Sox as a team to be traded to in last year's trade deadline. I know that. But you cannot count the Red Sox out. They were offering J.D. Martinez the same amount of money in years Darvish was looking for. If you had a six-year an option, the Red Sox automatically become favorites in landing you Darvish. So let's say this is the case the Red Sox obtain Darvish. How do the Yankees respond? Obviously, the Astros and the Red Sox are going to have the best starting rotations in Major League Baseball. These two teams happen to be the Yankees' biggest rivals. So how do the Yankees respond to a dagger like that to the heart? Because it is, if the Red Sox obtain Darvish, it's a big blow. How do they respond? The only logical way they respond is by trading for Manny Machado. If you're hearing this now, previously you're like, oh, damn, the Red Sox might get a Darvish. But now when you think about it, if the Red Sox get Darvish, it's a 99.9% chance that Manny Machado will become a New York Yankee to start the 2018 season, period. I see no other way they come back and respond to a move like this. Darvish to the Red Sox automatically makes them World Series contenders. And like I said, let's not forget about the Houston Astros. And again, another team, the Cleveland Indians. There's a whole bunch of teams now that are better, like the Angels, etc. The Yankees are going to have a tough time trying to counter a move like that. And no, they can't get Jada Martinez either, because we all know the Yankees outfield is stacked. So that's not a possibility. The only way, like I said, you make that blockbuster deal with the Orioles, you maybe do a three-way trade with the Diamondbacks. 
get a starting pitcher from them, offer a closer, free up salary space. You see, if the Red Sox get Darvish, there's nobody to blame but the Yankees. They could have moved money a long time ago and offered what you Darvish was looking for. So if you want to blame anybody, if the Red Sox become contenders for Darvish, blame the Yankees. But like I said, the way the Yankees can counter and move like that, make that three-way trade with the Diamondbacks and Orioles, obtain a Corbin, obtain a Machado, and like I said, become contenders. Obviously, the Red Sox obtaining Darvish is going to move the Yankees to, let's say, not the team to beat, but the team that's going to be ranked maybe third in all of baseball or fourth with a move like that. Astros at one, Red Sox at two. So that's my opinion. And this is what I'm forecasting. J.D. Martinez has snubbed the Red Sox. Look for the Red Sox to dump what they were going to spend on Martinez on Darvish. Not Arietta, not all these other free agents out there. The Covenant starting pitcher that's currently every team in contention in Major League Baseball wants. So expect that move to happen if J.D. Martinez is serious about not wanting to deal with the Red Sox. So there you have it, folks. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.